Welcome back to Elite Dangerous guys and here I'll show you the kind of an old trick how to uh, get a lot of um, reputation and a lot of credits but before I start with this I'll show you the spoiler how much I'll make see uh, this is how much I have and these missions I completed I did this in um, less than an hour and also the new update allows you to choose what you want so uh, whatever you need at the moment I usually take reputation first and then um, credits the second place. So let's see how much I make. I had about, um, let's see, you, you'll see how much it is, okay? So <laughs> let's just complete the stuff. See, uh, reputation is same, plus, 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 plus. So I always take the cash if there is no reputation rewards. I'll just spam them in here. See, this gives a lot of reputation, but also a lot of money. So you can choose whatever you want. I want reputation because I'm, I'm about to buy the Federal Corvettes at some point, so that's why... Not just Federal Corvette, but uh, better ships, and that's why I need the rank. I think I gave in all the missions. Let's check transactions. Um, yep, no more. Uh, let's see my stats. See, I can um, get a rank up with Federation. So, the way you do this is uh, you check the boards in here. And you take those sentry skimmer missions. It's not just in this um, Alexander dock. You just have to find a place that works. And see, these are uh, in the same place. So you just look. Uh, where is it? A prospect. There we go. Accept it. I'm just doing the federation ones in the empire thing. Uh, this one I don't really want because this is a high security place. There are a lot of turrets and stuff. And you don't really want to go in there. So I'm not taking this one. Uh, producer vision, let's take this one, see sentry skimmers again, I'm only taking the sentry skimmer, mis sentry skimmer missions, uh, let's see, this is also producer vision, take it, not the best place, but I'll take it anyway, again, uh, that's Goliath, Goliath I don't recommend because uh, they don't usually spawn in, um, that's a good place, I'll take this one, and if you can't find any more of those missions in here, then this is the trick what you do. You go here, log into the main menu. I was in solo play, and then you start again and go into open play instead. And once in open play, the mission should have been updated. So you just um, go back in here, mission board, and let's check this faction. This is uh, specifically what I want to do, so let's see. There we go, see? More sentry skimmers in this... Um, right uh, relay so let's take this one uh, that's Goliath no no Goliaths uh, see another center skimmer in a prospect uh, take this one and again if you uh, don't find any missions you do the same logout trick you log out log back in and uh, you have to change between the game mode for, uh, between like open play and solo that's the best thing to do and now I'm in the solo play again so let's uh, accept those missions. Let's see if anything changed. At some point they stop uh, updating if you don't take any missions. You have to actually take something to, you know, update them. You can take it and just abandon it, but that's gonna get you negative reputation. And you need to have a uh, good reputation to have these missions, so. See, there we go, another one. Uh, 12 century skimmers, let's take this one. Them. And you can also uh, donate the money. This gives you good reputation because you make so much of it. I usually take them. I mean, it's just like a couple of million here or there. See, so it's like whatever. I'll just um, give it in and get good reputation. See, I just uh, I just had like 770. I think I made like um, wait, was it 770 million or something like this? So I made like uh, 70 million already from those missions. So. And you can take only, uh, I believe, 20 missions, so you have to count them. And I have reached the limit now. See, if I try to accept this one, it says I have too many missions. That's exactly 20. I don't even need to count them because I have done that before. And they are all in the similar places. So uh, all we do now is make sure your ship is ready to go, everything uh, refueled. Best thing is, uh, to use for it is the missile launchers. I'm gonna actually put them in a different fire group. I'll make a fire group uh, free so I can uh, shoot them separate and uh, conserve some ammo. And once you're done with this, then um, just make sure you know where you're going. See, the systems are right next to each other. 
Uh, I'll take the Carito first and just jump in there. So once in the system, find the um, thing from here. You don't even have to go on the map. See, uh, Brian Depot, um, Pit and Ride Relay, and A Prospect. They're in three different planets, but it's in the same system, so it's um, fairly fast. You have to find other places where those missions are given into the very close systems or very close planets, so you don't have to like uh, spend too much time on you know between jumping. So I'm on the final approach, uh, just gliding in. Uh, the reason why I didn't take that hill's folly, which had um, high security, is simply because I just don't um, don't want to fight all these turrets and stuff. It's just not worth it. You just have to find a perfect you know place where. Um, where you don't have the security levels in there, just the center skimmers, I'll just show you. It was a perfect, um, perfect uh, landing, not landing, but whatever you want to call it. And after this last uh, update, which was just a couple of days ago, there is an uh, even better method. Not just the, the missions don't always like uh, stack stack. Uh, you have to actually kill more sentry skimmers, but it's a lot easier, I'll show you. Just take my weapons out. So, first you don't see any sentry skimmers, but you don't have to land. You just go as close as possible. Uh, there we go, and then they spawn. See, you have to go, like, literally into it. Take them out with rockets, it's very easy. I think four of them spawned, yep, four of them. I don't think I got one of them. You see, they don't always die from one rocket. That one did. There we go. And then simply go back really close. You don't even have to... Um, there you go. See, you don't have to do anything. I mean, you have to do uh, something. Go uh, a little bit further away. This one doesn't want to die again. Some of them have shields, the other ones don't, that's why. Just gave it a double rocket. There's one more somewhere, there we go. That's a double rocket, um, double rocket uh, skimmer. And then check from this panel. See, if you still see that uh, globe icon, then it means you still have an active mission in here. So uh, just keep doing this until um, you don't see that globe thing. Just remember, you have to go really close with the ship. Kind of missed again. Yeah, some of them have shields, but rockets are really easy. See, we uh, check again. Nope, oh, still more. This is the one of the best places, the Bryant Depot, because there is four skimmers at the same time that spawn. And if you run out of ammo, then it's good idea to have some of the materials so you could synthesize um, the ammo. Uh, still more, so let's keep doing it. But it's still really easy to do, just keep going in and out. See, there we go, more skimmers. And you shouldn't have any trouble from any authority ships or anything. You will get a wanted level, so I recommend having a fast ship because uh, I don't think you're interested in fighting the ships that are sent against you. Went a little bit too far. One more in there. There we go. And see, there's no globe icon, so just lock in the next one and let's go to the next target. I'm just approaching the other one, but uh, check out the logs in here. Uh, mission successful, I just uh, completed like uh, six missions. Wait, is it six? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven missions in less than two minutes, see? It shows the timeline when I uh, completed them. Here we go, I'm approaching the pit and Rai relay. It's gonna be a perfect um, hit again. It's also a good idea to check the gravity on the planet. So that you don't uh, smash into the ground. This is a very low gravity. 
uh, planet, so it's uh, low risk. And oh yeah, th that I was also afraid of that. See, there is a ship in here. Uh oh. Uh, stop! 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 Uh, I have to take him out because if you uh, start attacking the sentry skimmers, that ship is gonna attack you, and then you're past that. Gonna just uh, this. This is what I wanted. So. Sorry, Mr. L uh, Mr. Clean System Defense Force, but I gotta do it. There we go. Yeah, well, hard to do it. You shouldn't expect any trouble at all from uh, ships in here. They can just go close to it. See, the they don't have them. Oh my God! Six skimmers at the same same go. I think it was. Uh, you have to go roughly about uh, 200 to 350 meters away in order for them to respawn. Uh, there we go. Let me just check again. That was all. See the pit and Roy relay. There is nothing more in here. So let's check where's the next mission. A prospect. It's going to take me a while to get there. But that's okay. And I'm approaching a prospect. Let's take my guns out. This is also an easy one. There's no ship, nothing in there. So let's do this. I know the process is same, but I'll show it anyway. See, it actually kind of looks like the other one. Yikes, that's a little bit too fast, I think. Or maybe not. You can already hear the skimmers. There we go. Was it only three of them? Uh, this one was definitely 350 meters. I've done this before. Oh, or maybe not. Just got three skimmers in one hit. <laughs> again. <laughs> and again, just check. See, uh, the globe icon is still there, so need to kill more. Just keep going. You know, back and forth. Back and forth. Whoa. Yikes, that's a little bit too close. Trespass yourself. Gotta know the speed. It's still there. I'm just checking after every time to make sure. And just because I can, I'm showing you the entire process, even though I could skip this and just say keep doing it. Well, it is keep doing it. <laughs> but anyway, you can see the timeline. How long it's taken me. I think I start about 2250 or something like this. Let's see if I can finish this in one uh, under one hour. These are the easiest that, that have no security at all. Those are the easiest. I don't know if it's, this is a bug. They uh, did say, developers said that they want to make it less grindy. So maybe that's why. But they just keep spawning like crazy. Yep, and it's done. See, it's done. And then the next one is um, this one. It's another system, so I have to go in there. And of course, it's on the other side. And as you can see, this specific point, this uh, Priusha Vision, it's very close to the sun. So it's uh, like, I think it's uh, six light seconds, or six, five, six light seconds. So it's really um, close to the sun. No flight time required. Uh, should be an easy land in there. But uh, it takes a little bit longer to kill the center skimmers in here. And I'll um, show you why. Right, here we are. The first thing you need to be up, um, aware of is the missile launcher on the roof. It's gonna probably start shooting many second. It's a very high gravity planet, so be careful. There you go, see? Uh, I killed it already. Uh, they also respawn the turrets and stuff. And this one is like beeping and stuff, but the center skimmers in here, they um, 
spawn after some time. You don't have to go close, I think. Or maybe you do. I'm not sure when they spawn exactly. I haven't figured this one out. You just have to mess around a little bit in here. And wait until they uh, spawn. There we go. They usually spawn by twos. Where is the other one? Look at it go. There we go. Uh, so the close and f uh, forward thing doesn't really help in here. I'll try again. Just one more time. But I already tried it before and you have to just wait. I think it takes about 30 seconds. I'll just figure it out. Let's go about uh, 350 meters from it. From the place or so. And let's go back. That was a little bit more, but that's okay. Yeah, see, it doesn't uh, doesn't react to it. So you just have to wait. That's the only thing you can do. You don't have to wait like right in it. In it, you can wait about here, I'd say. In meanwhile, I can just uh, shoot out some turrets because I got nothing else to do. Just take those out. They don't give you anything. Well, they give me bounty. <laughs> and those are crown turrets, that's why they are not shooting me. There we go, see? Didn't even get it. Where are you going, you freaking thing, man? There we go. Direct hit. Did I hear another one? Or maybe I didn't get it. And another thing I wanted to mention that the, uh, the skimmers don't always stack. See, uh, this mission is 6 out of 8. Uh, 6 out of 8. Uh, see, this is 0 out of 8. Even, uh, I mean 12, even though it's the same place. Prior vision. So if the mission uh, giver is not the same. See, it's uh, 0 out of 12. Even though it's the same place. Don't panic if it doesn't work. It's... Um, because you need to just uh, do the other ones first. See, I got those two done now. These two. See, those are done. And after those are done, then these will start to count. So the next ones I kill, uh, you're gonna have counts in there. So that's the only issue in here. That's why this one takes longer. I mean, it's not just this point. It's if the mission giver is different, uh, you know, faction. Or sub-faction. See, this one counted. 8 out of 12. But the others didn't. See, these are still 0. So if the sub-faction or something is different. Then they don't stack up. So you have to actually complete one of the missions. And then just keep killing them. I actually counted. They respawn uh, roughly. Um, roughly after 1 minute. Anywhere between like uh, 50 seconds to like uh, 70 seconds. Something like this. And yeah, that thing is dangerous. That respawns too, so you have to pay attention to that, see. Uh, that thing respawns, I don't know, every 5 or 10 minutes. I don't know, I didn't count, but you can see the timer on the top right when I killed it the first time. Uh, now I killed it again. So this should be the last batch. There we go. Yeah, exactly 1 minute if you kill them real fast. And um, exactly 1 minute it takes them to respawn. I think I, uh, yep, see, there's no more mission in here. Actually, it's medium security. So, uh, they're all done. Now I need to go and take my uh, missions and show you how much I made. So, I'm just on my way back to the um, Alexander Dark. Let me figure out where, how it spins. It's the other Imperial side. Best way to find them. Um, talking base to see which axis it uh, spins on and one of the axes is obviously the back and the other one is front like this one here a lot of people don't know that they can't find the entrance so you just look at the spinning axis how it spins and that's all you need to look at there we go let's get in here 41 bay I think it's right at the doorway it is there we go 
somewhere in here. Da -da 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 -da. Let's go down. So I completed all these missions just under an hour, I'd say. I think I still have a few minutes left before it's one hour. There we go. And let's see how much I made. And I'm gonna give in all the missions and everything. So, um, mission board. Uh, 840 million. I'm not gonna count the money because, like I said, I need reputation more than uh, money right now. So let's start from here. Let's see. Uh, see, I'll take the reputation. See, you could have three more million. Even more than that, actually. But I'll take reputation. I want to uh, rank up properly. See, another one. Look at the reputation and the uh, money difference in here. Or maybe I should take credits. I'll take credits from here. The difference is too big. Uh, influence, I don't need it. I'll take um, credits from this one. Actually, I don't really need reputation with the uh, with the empire. I need it with a uh, federation. So I might just take money from all of these. So even though I took the reputation, I think it was uh, 80 million. 80 million in less than an hour, and people are saying that this game is grindy. <laughs> Okay, one trick you need to know before you jump into it, and I know people are gonna start complaining. See, all all the new missions have already spawned in. See, the same thing. A prospect. See, a prospect. Uh, Brian Depot. See, the same uh, same kind of stuff already has spawned in. Uh, what you need to know, you have to be in good level with these kind of missions. See, uh, let's see what this uh, requires in here. Uh, higher rank missions, uh, la 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 la, competent, no, wait. Uh, yeah, you need uh, kind of, you know, the rank and stuff. But this is so easy to get. You just come to the system, you take some simple missions, such as like uh, the um, courier missions. Uh, I don't see any courier missions in here right now. But you just take something simple that is really easy to do. And you get this uh, reputation up really fast. And then you start doing these missions I just did. And that's it. It's gonna take you less than one week to get, like, you know, the anaconda or whatever you want, so... And this trick definitely helps once you have uh, passed this, you know, basic level, their reputation with them. Th these are pirates, that's why it's so bad. I'm not on a pirate level, I destroy them, so the influence is very low. But even then it's not hostile, see. So I hope this, uh, this helped you guys, and I will see ya next time.